What is up, YouTube? It's your boy, the Franchise Guy, coming back at you again with another episode of NBA 2K19, my career featuring your boy, Chance Bishop, taking on the Season 2 season finale at these final two games in the bag. I mean, we're sitting at, what, 78-2 and two coming into this game, or, yeah, coming into this game, we're at 78-2. and two. We are by far the best team record-wise in all of NBA history. Uh, Jordan and his Bulls, Curry and his Warriors has nothing on this team. We have only lost twice this season. And I mean, hopefully next season we can go for a perfect season. I mean, Chance Bishop's contract's up next season. That's something that we got to look forward to or got to look into, really. Because does Chance Bishop want to spend another four or five years here in Toronto? Or does he want to go to L.A. or Philly or Cleveland or somewhere? Bring a championship to another team that's out there. You know, does he want to team up with LeBron James or you know, Ben Simmons, Joel Embiid? At the end of next season, I mean... I mean, what happens if they win the championship this year? If we go back to back this season, does that make Chance Bishop the greatest player in Raptors history who brought two championships to this team back to back? Him and him and Kawhi Leonard, Kyle Lowry, you know. Only thing they lost was DeMar DeRozan. Real shame that he's gone, but like it's the price you have to pay. But even if we get traded, who are we getting traded for? If we get traded to, like, the Lakers, are they going to give up Brandon Ingram and Lonzo Ball for us? Or if we get traded to the Sixers, are they giving up Ben Simmons? Like, what? what's the give and take here on this team on how we can get traded and how everything's going to work out? I mean, should we just go to the Warriors? I mean, we don't even need to go to the Warriors anymore. We, I don't even want to go to the Warriors Originally as a grab for a ring, but then we came here and won in our first year that Raptors played us a ton, you know, we literally played every minute. We were dropping 60 points a game Just because we just weren't sitting at all. We were playing 20 minutes a game Five minute quarters. We played every minute of every quarter. I Mean now we're actually sitting some so you know, we're not playing every bit stretch a game, you know, 30 points, 35 points a game, opposed to 50, 60, 70 points in every game. I mean, I don't know. Happens. Happens a lot, really, when you think about it. Look at that, though. Up to 34 points right now. Six tournaments left in the game. Now, coming down to the buzzer beater. Look at that. Chance Bishop in the paint. Going up green lights. 36 points. We're up 56 to 41. Chance Bishop on the breakaway. Passing it to him wide open. Three bank shot. It's in. 39 points. 1,200 fans buying our jerseys. Look at that. Green light three-pointer. 42 points on the game so far. And now we're just stat padding. We're pulling away. From this team right here, the, the Charlotte team just can't keep up. I'm sorry, Charlotte, you're just not doing it. Takeover mode. Dishing it back to Chance Bishop for a two. That's a long two right there. And it's going in. Two and a half minutes left. Point up for another three. You know, doesn't go in. Valentine just gets it, dishes it back out to us. And we hit the three, the second chance. You know, 13 threes made this game. You know, it ties a record. Records of 14 or something stupid like that. Whatever it was. 53 points right now on the game. Uh, we are tied for the most three-pointers made in this same game with 14. Uh, we have seconds left to hit a three. And we hit it. Our 15th three-pointer of the game. Most in NBA history. Uh, previous was us. We reset the clock to us. I mean, move aside Steph Curry, move aside Klay Thompson, uh, move aside the third Splash Bro and Boogie Cousins, because we're the best three-point shooter in the history of three-point shooters. Sorry, Ray Allen. But we end up blowing out Charlotte 76-47. to 27. 29 point blowout, you know. 
doesn't get much worse than that when you think about it. I mean, this Toronto team was 79-2 and two going into the final game of the season. How can a team be this good? It's unheard of. A team should not be this good, especially in a capped salary league. I mean, I think the key is they got us for super cheap, you know? Like, we're only on, like, what, a $10 million contract, something like that, that we signed from the Golden Ants. But then again, you have Kawhi Leonard, Valen Junis, Kyle Lowry. I mean, it's, it seems crazy that, you know, you won the first championship in, you know, Raptors history last season, and now we're going for back-to-back, -back, keeping up, you know, in theory. Uh, Washington versus 48-33 on the season. Not quite up to snub with the Raptors, who are coming at 79-2 and two on the season. But, uh, yeah, you know, get the ball, lay it out, nice little dunk right there. You don't see dunks that often from Bishop, so whenever he does, it's always fun to put them in the highlight reel. Three-pointers are more especially, he's like an old uh, Ray Allen before Ray Allen, you know, shot threes more than he dunked. It happens sometimes when you think about it. Oh, this game's going by pretty quick. Not, we weren't really doing much scoring. We're trying to, you know, get them assist numbers up, get them rebound numbers up. You know, trying to become more of a team player opposed to a, a me first kind of player. We're also shooting up a ton of shots, and they're just not going into. We're shooting 37% from three, up to 44 now with that make right there. We're leading by was it five points down to four points right now. Not doing the greatest when you think about it. She has to surge back a Baka, put it back in us, and we're just going to land up with a green light right there. I mean, quality shots right now we're taking. 18 total points for Bishop, going to lay it in again, another green light. Alex Len right there gets the assist. Yeah, pull up again, another two. I mean, not a green light, but it's in. He had chance Bishop now. Shooter's got a shoot. He's a three-point shooter. He had a wide open three-point shot. And he took it. 25 points on the game for Bishop. I mean, he's just he's cruising for a bruise, and you know, gets the ball in down low, lays it up, green light. 27 points for Chance Bishop. Eight of those points come from the paint. Pull up for a wide open green light three. 30 points on the game. I mean, unheard of. Teams like this should not exist in the Cap League. Uh, lay it up nice and easy. She's like, oh, I fouled you, or this or that, or you cheated in basketball. I'm like, no, you didn't touch me, and I still made it. Yeah, no, it was fun. But if you guys like this episode, if you guys like, comment, subscribe. I mean, we just ended up going 80-2 and two in a season. That's unheard of how good this team is. A team should not be this good. But definitely, guys, if you guys missed an episode, make sure you guys check the playlist down below. Uh, if you guys, you know, like the, you know, like the channel, subscribe, comment, leave likes, really helps me out. But yeah, peace out, rock on YouTube, stay.